Yes, my dear student, I'm um, Mr. Imam Richards from Eruke Education Center. Welcome in the session Geography. Our topic today let us say about the forest. <coughs> this, in short and clear, we could say this is the continuous growth of trees and underground and growth covering an extensive area of land. So this one. This inch of forest, it involves the all plants, grasses which are grow on the earth surface. So my dear students, when you talk about forest, you talk about the covering, the covering, the covering of, of trees, grasses, and the other things which are grow on the earth surface. Example, trees grass and the other thing. So here, after looking this definition of forest, forest are of two types. It has characterized or has divided it into classification. The first classification is natural forest. The second classification is artificial forest. So when you talk about this classification, you and you need to be aware of what is the classification classification of uh, as natural forest, what is the classification of all types of artificial forest. So natural forest, this means thumbsing, thumbsing grow but naturally on the surface. So when we talk about the natural forest, we are talking about this is the type of forest whereby plants grow naturally on the earth surface. This type of forest is characterized with the following features. Before to, to see the features of these types, which we need to know what is natural. The things which is natural, it has been put by, I could say by God, because it is naturally, it grows naturally without any assistance of the human being. So, through doing that, this, this type has grown naturally. So it has also the following features. The first features, trees of different types of grow, grow together. Trees of different types are grow together because it has no plan. It is not planted. It is not planted with someone maybe has decided to, to grow one, one, one species or one type of species in a certain area or in, the, in, a, certain, in a certain farm. It is growing naturally, so any types of any types of trees can grow, any types of grass can grow. So that is why we say it is natural, according to it is nature. So another thing is most of the trees are hardwood. These types of the trees which are growing in, in this under these types, it is natural. So it is so hardy, hardwood. It is so hard wood, so that's why it, it produces a nice timber or building material because it is not planted by the human being, but it grows naturally on the earth surface. Another is the trees in this area are indigenous. This means it is origin. It is origin, it has originated on a particular area where those kind of trees are grown and they're not planted with a certain person or are not maybe being moved from one area to another area. It grow naturally and that's why we say it is indigenous, it is natural in that particular area. So through doing that, through, so through looking at that, my dear students, this is what about, this is all about the features of natural forest. So after looking at that, let us see fourth point number four. There is a thick undergrowth. A thick this this means that there is a num a high number of trees in a, in a, th a certain particular area. Because this because these types of trees are growing naturally, are not practiced with a certain person. So are growing without any plan. So are of different types and they are growing together in a certain particular area. So that's why we are saying um, a thick and a growth. So after all that, let us see the second types or the, the second types which is artificial forest. This artificial, this means that 
it is made it is man made that's why we say it is artificial so artificial for this is the type of forest whereby trees grow in a particular area are, are planted by the human being this type depends with the human being without the human being these types could not exist so the nature of this types of forest depend on the presence of the human being because the human beings now is the pulling factor or the driving force of the presence of this type of forest unless otherwise if human being could not be there we could only having only one types of forest but due to the presence of the human beings now the human being has has increased these types and it to become artificial forest so through after looking that now let us see it is features which which are trees are of one species tree are of one species because the human being now is the controller and so as the, as the controller now the human being has decided to to use one species in a particular area if it is if it is pine, maybe pine, or it is Caliberian, so a, a human being now decided to plant only one types of only one types of of trees. So that's why we say they are of one species, or is a single species in a particular area. So point number two: trees are not indigenous. Trees are not indigenous because. They have not occurred naturally in that particular area. So a, a human being has decided to plant those to, to plant those trees. That's why we say are not indigenous. But if it, it could be naturally, now we could, we could say it is it is indigenous. But if if the human being now with the driving force of that trees to be there, it is not it is not indigenous. Okay, my dear student, after looking after looking point number two, let us see point number three. Most trees are are soft are soft woods. This means that the woods which are produced from this artificial forest are softy and not hard wood like in natural in natural forest. So after looking at that, let us see the factors for the distribution of the forest in the country or in the world. There is an inch of relief. When we talk about relief, this refers to the landscape, the nature of the area, the nature of the land. Either it is slope or steep slope, this causes the distribution of trees. If there is a gentle slope or steep slope, the trees will not be there. If there is, there is a, a normal relief, tree will grow in that area. So after looking at point number one, let us see point number two, the aspect. The aspect is this, what it means. This is the direction a slope faces with the respect to the sunshine. If an aspect is directed with the sunshine, automatically the trees will grow very well because they will get the sunlight from the sun. And that sunlight will, will lead to the photosynthesis to take place so that for the, for the creation of food or for the, for the secretion of the food to, to the trees. And hence the tree will grow very well. But if the aspect will not be direct, direct from directly with the sun, these trees automatically will not grow very well because the photosynthesis will not take place to the maximum of the need of the trees. My dear students, aspect is all about the direction of the sunshine from the sun to the trees. There is an inch of drainage patterns. The drainage pattern, this is a flow of the direction of water. So, water move from one area to another area oh water may the drainage this means it can be the outflow of water so if there is the outflow of water the stream does not does not go direct to the to the trees where trees now are, where tree now are growing so automatically this will lead to to the trees not to lose or not to grow very well because we not have enough water. So due to the absence of enough water, these trees will grow will not grow very well. But if there well there will be enough water, trees will grow very well and the forest will exist. Point number four, it is all about the temperature. Temperature 
Temperature is what determines the amount of water or amount of rain for can be rain in a particular area. So if there is will it be a good temperature that will at, will 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 increase temperature until now until now the hotness and the coldness of that area will it be moderate or will it be higher it depends if the area if the area will have a higher temperature the the forest will not grow but if the area will have the moderate or the cold the cold temperature automatically at the cold temperature but not lower to the to the minimum the tree will grow very well and that's why the forest will will exist also, there is a nature, there is the issue of rainfall. Rainfall also, this is another factor of distribution of the forest. If there will be enough forest, in, enough rainfall in the particular area, the rain, the forest will grow very well. But if there will be a retro one, rainfall, the, 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 the forest will not grow very well because of the shortage of water. That is all about rainfall. The nature of the soil. The nature of the soil, my dear student, that is supporting that supported the growth of, of forest are, are those kind of are those kind of soil or, or the soil that have, have a good fertile soil. If the soil has enough fertile soil, will support the growth of the forest. But if the soil will lose or will, will be having no fertile soil, the fertile automatically the forest will not grow very well because of lack of of the fertility, fertility the nature of the because of lack of the fertility materials also human activities human activities may lead to the distribution of the, the forest if there is an issue of cutting trees down for the maybe burning of charcoal for the cutting of of, of wool, creation of timber so this will, without replacing we are ready to the disappearance of the forest, so that's why this is also human activities we really we we cause the distribution of forest according to to its nature. After looking at that, so let us see the importance of forest, my dear student. Forest are source of building material. Source of building material. How now we get pods of all, of which those pods are producing timber. Those timber are using like a building material in different areas in the in the industry in the government government sectors and and as well as the private sector so the first is the source of building material another is forest they are source of fuel source of fuel are used fuel are anything that can be burnt and and they get fire so they are at home we are using firewood so firewood also acting as the fuel is also, we get charcoal. Charcoal are using as a fuel in domestic, in the domestic purpose as the product of the of the at the, at the end product of the forest. Also, forest is the source of of rainfall. If there is a coverage of the for, coverage of forest in this particular area, automatically the phototropism will take place. After if phototropism will, will take place. Trees will grow from the sunrise, and now water will lose water through the stomata. So through that stomata now, we can we, through that stomata now during the lose of water of the trees now that water will go will go directly to, up to the sky after after <coughs> after the condensation after the condensation of that after that water that has been lost now we get it. After after that conversation, now the, due to the increase of the temperature, now we can get we we get rainfall. So through that, we say that forest is the source of is the source of rainfall. Point number four: it prevents soil erosion. Area with the coverage of the forest automatically not allow this soil erosion. But the area which is cleanly and it has no forest, automatically soil erosion will exist. So due to the presence of this forest now, soil erosion will you know will not take place. Also, it provides a good air condition due to the presence of of different trees and the, uh, yeah, different trees. Now we get fresh air from the tree. That is oxygen after the end product of the photosynthesis. So we get oxygen now from the trees, and then we get fresh air. Also, point number six: it provides employment opportunity. Employment opportunity it is provided for those people who are involving in the lumbering, in the lumbering process. And, and as lumbering process takes place in the forest now, people get employment involving in making timber, in making furniture, and the other product from 
from the chamber. So my dear students, before we wind up there, now let us see the question, which is to explain the, con the contribution of the forest for the development of, of, an, of a national income. Yes, my dear student, let us now continue with the problem associated with the forest resources harvesting. First thing there is the problem deforestation. Deforestation means the process of, of cutting trees in a particular area without replacing. So these problems lead to different, different circumstances like shortage of rainfall and a change of climate due to the rules of some species on the on this. Also we have the shortage of water. Shortage of water, this is due to the lack or shortage of rainfall after the clearing of trees on a particular area. So through clearing of trees without replacing, it led to the shortage of water because rainfall now it is very short compared to the moment of which trees was present on a particular area where rainfall used to rain for the higher for the higher amount, but after clearing those area, that areas, the amount of rain for that is that is that is that is present now is very low. So through doing that, there is the existence of shortage of water. Also, there is climatic change. Climatic change. This means it may lead to the existence or occurrence of semi-arid desert or existence of of a desert due to the clear due to the deforestation or cutting trees of, of cutting trees down after, before without replacing it is one of the problem associated with the forest reserve harvesting so after harvesting the trees in the particular area without planting if we do recover a large area it will lead, it will lead to the existence of of, of semi arid desert or, or semi desert of which now semi desert will lead to the change of climate in a particular area and lead to the shortage of of rainfall or rules of rain, rainfall throughout the year so through doing that now the government should restrict a particular sector to ensure that this cannot exist Another is greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect, this is the destruction of the ozone layer. This is the, an effect also of the problem of harvesting trees. The problem of harvesting trees now, this will, will be lead to the accumulation or to the introduction of high carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, of which now the carbon dioxide will hardly you know any place it can be fed or it can be it can be kept now it will go direct to the ozone layer of which now the 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 toxic or the toxic that are available in the carbon dioxide now will go to to distract the the greenhouse the the to distract the global ozone of which now it will lead to the greenhouse effect also, after looking that now, let us see the rules of employment opportunity. Rules of employment opportunity also, it is the effect of harvesting trees without replacing, of which now people are, who are involving in the in the lumbering and the creating of furniture now we lose opportunity, we lose employment opportunity because of the we have we we fail to get raw materials, we get we we fail to get raw materials in a particular time. So through doing that now. Also, this is a problem. Another is the effect of ecosystem on the environment. Ecosystem, this is the, this is the, this is the balance of the animals and the other species, or the balance of species, the way how they are living in the in the environment. So, if trees will be cutting down, there are some animals we lose to get food. So, the ecosystem there now will not will not be there. So, through doing that the effect of ecosystem on the environment will exist because of harvesting trees without a good plan. Also, after looking at that now, let us see the way of addressing problems facing forest in the world. The way how now the problem can be solved or how the, these problems can be reduced that are facing forest in, in the world or case study we could say in Tanzania. The first is carrying out, out of the research to determine the, the growth required requirement for the different trees species. 
there are some species that are growing in a particular area does not afford or does not does not match with the climatic condition there or the, the the nature of the soil so after doing the if the research will be carried out now they will come out with the with the critical analysis and to give out the concrete answer of which now the concrete answer will give they died we give now education and to make people to be aware what kind of trees should be grown at a particular area another is creating to creating public awareness about the importance of the forest if everybody will be educated now we if people will receive education about the forest deserve the way how to deserve forest and the way how to keep plants that are growing in a particular area now, these problems will not exist again. Also, encouraging about the ex existing source. It will encourage people to use existing source and not, uh, uh, they should not rely on the use of plants. They should rely on other resources like gas, natural gas and other things. So, and they, they, should not, they should stop to use the product of, of trees. The product of trees are the are the depending are the are the, their main natural are their main fuel fuel or resources for the domestic use, including the use of natural natural gas. I have said so. After talking there, let us see. The government should provide education about the use of another alternative resources like natural gas and others. And so if the government will educate people, they should not rely on the using of only fuel uh, fuel involving that are producing from the, the forest like charcoal, firewood. So if people will rely on another natural resources like natural gas and another thing, so natural gas and kerosene and other and the other sources. So the forest now will be saved from the problem of of disappearing on the surface. So after looking here now, my dear student, let us see here. We have one exercise. This exercise requires to explain five ways of protecting both the natural and the artificial forest in Tanzania. My dear students, as we have looked from the beginning to the end, so now we should do, you should do educate your fellow, educate your parents, your guardian, and your, your neighbors that the forest is very important. So if the forest is very important, can you trace the ways of protecting both the natural and the artificial forest in Tanzania so that the forest can lead to the attractions of rainfall, can lead to the attraction of that for which now that rainfall will lead to the development of agriculture and hence lead to the development of the nation and the other sectors in the country. Thank you very much.